I want to talk to you a little bit about the tools that we will need. We will need a, a Phelps head sc uh, screwdriver, uh, little wire clippers or scissors will do, um, some solder, a good soldering iron, uh, not one that's really uh, got a big fat tip on it, and then uh, this is a torch for the heat shrink or you could use a lighter. We'll talk a little bit about the pickups that are out there. Um, we, the cradle was designed for an acoustic guitar and the whole idea behind the cradle is so we could use electric guitar pickups in acoustic guitar. And typically you'll find uh, pickups like the Telecaster single coil. All these, all these are magnetic pickups or a Stratocaster single coil. And each one have a, has a unique sound. Uh, this is a humbucker, uh, very standard. And then, in our case, is the TV Jones pickup. I really like these. They have a very nice sound to it. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to put these pickups aside because we're, I'm going to concentrate on the TV Jones pickup. The other area that we need to talk about is that, the, uh, again, the cradle fits on acoustic guitar. But we also have different plates that would fit the various pickups. And, you know, we have the, the Telecaster, uh, Stratocaster, Mini Humbucker, the P90, and in our case, we will be using the TV Jones pickup plate. And we'll put those aside. So let's open this up and see what we got on the inside. Uh, the packaging is very easy. We have get two bags. I'll put the instructions there because I've read those. Uh, and as you can see, we get a cradle, a plate, which is a standard humbucker plate, you know, uh, for these because humbuckers are pretty standard all over the place uh, in the industry. And then we also have a package that has a cable, some cable ties, some heat shrink and a end pin uh, strap to hook it on your end pin. Now, in this case, we're, we're going to assemble this for an external mount. Uh, you can mount this internally if you want a little bit more permanent type installation. So we'll open this up, take it out of the bag, I'll put it aside here, all right? And this is the cradle. Number one, you'll notice that it's very, very light, and it's good because uh, we want to keep the the mass to a minimum. It's bad enough that these these things are heavy. The cradle is designed with rubber pads underneath the ends of them, so that they sit in the sound hole properly. And then they have these slides that move back in and out, and they fit underneath the um, sound hole, uh, uh, the, the top surface of the sound hole. And then once you place it, then you can lock it in, and then these things will actually keep it centered and will keep it tight on the guitar itself so it doesn't move around. So the first thing we want to do, and again we have the standard humbucker, uh, we're going we're gonna to mount the the uh, TV Jones pickup plate and we get four uh, 256 holes for here and we will mount the plate onto the the cradle and then we'll mount the pickup onto the cradle and then we'll go ahead and solder it so I'll open this up and normally in any uh, pickup especially suspended mount this is what we call suspended mount Okay. If you if you take a look at the TV Jones, this is what we call a English mount or suspended mount that actually has a spring between a top surface. You know, if you have a uh, pick guard or a pickup ring, we can actually adjust it up up and down, and we use the same technology. And in normal cases, you get uh, a two springs and screws um, with your assembly. But because the screws are so short, we have, we have uh, uh, elected to add some 
plastic inserts so we you know so the top of the top of the pickup is is on the same same surface area so what we'll do is we'll mount the plate on here uh, with the screws uh, should be careful uh, for mounting this um, they are very delicate they don't need to be torqued uh, this is not a piece of machinery it's just to hold the plate in and uh, as you can see these are quite small and make sure that they go in straight you do not want to cross thread them okay so you have you have the plate on there and now all we have to do is just snug that's all we don't over tightening will strip strip those out so this is what it looks like you have the cradle and now we're going to go ahead and mount the pickup in it so the TV Jones pickup um, you know we can mount it any any which way you want but I prefer to have the label on the top side again this is a preference so I'm going to go ahead and it would be best to lay something down uh, like a like a towel or so that we could protect the the pickup itself and we will go ahead and put the screw in the the little spacer and then the um, spring this is what we call a suspended mounted pickup uh, in, in the case of TV Jones they call this English mount which is very in, in, interesting um, it kind of gives you an indication that it might be designed by somebody in England where the name comes from I have no clue so we'll take the other one do the same thing again thank God, goodness for a towel and we will mount this onto that screw and let's get it started properly because it's spring loaded we can actually move the whole pickup up and down towards the string so we we basically elect to have the pickup surface be at the same level as this surface here and again you, you know it depends on where your strings are on the guitar there's no not much so this is what we we have right now we we have the pickup mounted and it's it it's good and we can move it up and down but we'll do that after we have it in the guitar the next thing I'll move the towel like this. The next thing is that we have the wire. Now, in the case of um, TV Jones, they have this type of wire, which is one is the ground, so the black, and it has the shield on it, and this is the hot. If you want to go to a stereo type or different arrangement, then we use the other wires, but in this case, we'll just leave it alone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this other package up and get everything out. So let's take a look at it. And what we have is we have the uh, end pin strap, which is a, a basically a rubber piece. And we'll open up the, the cable. Let's take a look at it. All right, and the cable uh, length is about three three feet, and on the end you'll have basically a wire that's exposed, which is your hot wire, and then your shield, and we just have to separate these out and make sure that we um, get one wire, and that's what you happen with some of these wire uh, the cables that use this kind of method the, it you have to twist twist the shield shielded wire so we're just going to solder 
We'll leave those alone. We don't need those. We'll just use these two wires. One is, let's see, one is blue. That's the hot in this case. And the other one is just bare copper. Now on the other end is a phone jack, which we will mount uh, with cable ties here. But let's go ahead and solder this onto the uh, pickup. And by the way, there are two heat shrinks. So again, we want to do, we want to hold the, the shield or ground and we just twist it around there like that. And then on the hot wire, we do the same thing, the blue to the white in this case. And we just twist it around like that. Simple. Now the next thing we do is clean your solder up, get a little solder. And we solder everything, make sure that the solder flows. You'll see a little bit of smoke, boom, just like that. And here in this case, a little solder like that, and that's all it takes. And normally I just clip the ends off a little bit, uh, like that. And then you could take some scissors and do the same thing. We'll put the heat shrink on it, just like that. Make sure that uh, you don't want the ends to go past, because then you get a short. So we just make sure the heat shrink is is covering everything plus leave a little bit at the end and then we take our torch and we heat shrink it up you can use a lighter okay not too much too, not too much heat okay that's it and that's basically the connection to the cable all right so you got all this cable here, and the reason why I left so much on here in case I want to use it to the pickup down the road for, for my electric guitar to put this pickup in. So this is where uh, we want to make sure that uh, we leave, leave the length. So with the two cable ties, what I like to do is I like to wrap it around here, just like that, and take this end because now it's protected and there are two holes right here if I can show you there's two holes right there that I use to wrap this cable tie on so at least it's out of the way okay I have to kind of thread it through there uh, maybe the other direction might help uh, let's let's do it again I'm trying to show you here got to give a little bend into it Sometimes I wonder if it takes longer to put the tie in than to solder it. So as you can see, it's coming through. You pull it through and just make sure it lays down good like that. And then you tie it on, on one end, the zip tie. I love zip ties. These will lay, these will lay flat. And I tend to want to rotate this tie towards the inside here. Because once we got this tied, then it's good. That's one. And I do the same thing on the other side, just to hold the cables in. It doesn't have to look pretty. The main thing is, is that at least you tie the cables together so they don't move. You don't want nothing rattling around. Okay. Push it through. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and cut those off. So if you look at it from this this standpoint, you really don't see the wires. Okay, make sure that everything moves properly, and if uh, if they're a little bit at an angle, uh, just make sure that that you adjust it. And actually, this looks pretty good. All right. 
So we have this this assemble. I'll leave my pick up here on the on the towel so it's protected, but we'll now talk about this end. On this one here, um, the whole purpose is to uh, put a cable tie on and mount this rubber piece on this jack so that we can put it through the end pin right here. And the reason for that is when you remove it, you could take it off and not damage anything. Okay? And we'll do the same thing on the other one, other side. And it's a little tougher when you have fat fingers like mine. Okay, take cable tie. Again, very simple, not rocket science. Okay, there's the ties. You clip them off, all right, and then basically what you have is a a anchor point for this jack, so that uh, there's a lot of times you you want to do this because you have uh, multiple pickups on your guitar and you may want to blend them properly. So this is how simple it is. You have your cradle and you have your end pin and you've got it together on your cable and you're ready to mount this into the guitar. However, if you decide that you want to connect this end into your other end, jack, uh, end pin jack, you can go ahead and cut this and then mount it on the inside. But for right now, this is an external mount and we're ready to mount this into a guitar and really try it. Doesn't take long and that's, that's it.